Hey, Tony from Hurricane Wind Power here. Today, I uh, want to start out, don't know how many parts this will end up, but we're going to assemble one of our new wind turbines and show you another new generator that we have coming to you. Um, in some previous videos, uh, I tried to get the point across that, you know, the size of the magnets in the stator uh, winding is important to make power. Um, in those videos, we compared it to some of the other products on the market. Um, at that point in time, people were referring to things as competitors. I, I don't really, you know, like that type of talk anymore um, because, you know, essentially we're competing against ourselves. We do what we do, everybody else does what they do, and that's pretty much irrelevant. So in, in those videos, you saw that the stator core was one of the largest uh, on the market for this type of wind turbine. And as you can see on the table, you know, referencing that, uh, this generator here, um, you know, just eclipses this. And we're gonna, let me uh, put that on the scale here a little bit. But that's gonna be, uh, this this wind turbine that goes with this actually makes 2,000 watts and uh, so just to clear up some things real quick before we get to start assembling things we rate our wind turbines um, I want to put some links at the bottom of the video for the National Research Energy Laboratory and uh, the American Wind Energy Organization so to take some of the confusion out of how some of these things are rated, and we're going to have to talk about this in several videos coming up, but those guys are the people who rate wind turbines such as Bergy, Pika, Vestas, Skystream, you know, and it costs thirty to eighty thousand dollars. And those are industry standards. So it's 2017, and if you're not rating your product by Inter, you know, um, industry standards, and you own a wind turbine company, uh, you, you know, that's certainly, you're right, but, I mean, you know, that's not, that's not what we're going to do. So, uh, the vast majority of people in the calls I get, you know, I've got the 24.6 and 11 meters per second written up here on the board, but the vast majority of people I talk to are looking for power below that and that's you know you see people talking about these axial wind turbines that make power at really low rpm so you know um to make power at those low wind speeds this is 2000 watts at 18 miles an hour that's going up for sale here real soon this one will punch out 2500 watts at 24.6 miles an hour, which is the industry standard, and it doesn't require an MPPT to do it. You know, we, it, it will do that PWM all day long. So um, that is just a prelude real quick. Before we get started, assembly tip number one from the pros. Wind turbine blades are sharp, so when you're handling this stuff, um, be careful. I should know better. I've been doing this for a long time. Um, so, product number one, you know, this is our new vector wind turbine. It may not be the vector by the time we put this up and it hits the market. Hurricane has been known for years for overbuilding things. And, you know, we went back, we went back to what we did. There's things uh, with some of these products called tail arms and tail arms have been around for 10 years or so um, different manufacturers have used those type of uh, you know bent metal structures and you know what, what we found out with that over time and I mean you know we've got, there's there's a guy that's actually got a video out um, shows our turbine making great power but to get those things heavy enough to where they don't um, flop around in the wind, you either have to, it, it adds a lot of weight. So we went back to our solid steel tubular construction and we're going to show you how one of these things is made in some of the components. And we're going to put this thing together 
And again, I don't know how many parts it's going to be. It shouldn't take that many because it's pretty simple. Uh, so here we go. This is going to come to you like, like this. One piece tubular steel. Um, you're not going to have any flex out of this. And it's, it's, it's actually lighter weight. So you get this. And this guy's going to slide. This guy's going to slide on the on the pole like so. Um, this is a split collar. There'll be a version of this with a integrated yaw bearing here, pretty soon as well. But this is a roller uh, bearing that will come with it. So this guy goes on for us. See that works pretty good. We're going to stay with our unique tail design. It just comes up. Uh, two bolts. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to pause that. And I'm going to get the hardware to put that on, and I'll be back with you too. All right. So in all reality, um, when you put this together. You're probably not going to put it together so you're going to stand like I am. And you may or may not have somebody that will help you out with a ball. But we'll see if we can put it together by ourselves. So we're going to take this bolt and this lock washer. And uh, this goes through on one side back here. And we're going to go through the body. second bolt here. Just going to bring this around so you see what's going on on this side. Um, what? Get this guy threaded up here. Construction, you can about hang a Jeep off this thing if you wanted to. Um, now, the next thing we're going to do is we want to put our generator. Let me show you a part of this generator. 